Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Wasabi Galaxy, a show where we chat about Japan culture, Japan games, anything Japan. In this episode we are going to be talking about Ken Shigamori's works, uh, a book that I got recently from Japan. And it's basically, if you don't know who he is, he's one of the art directors, designers of the Pokemon franchise. Uh, he started off uh, doing manga and then uh, got into game design working with uh, Game Freak and with Sega working on different uh, different games. Uh, I really love his works because uh, you know he has a unique style I think in in you know Japan and also you know his works have touched my life. I I'm a huge Pokemon fan and seeing Pokemon for the first time, the thing I remember is his styles, you know, opening the manual of Pokemon Red for me and seeing his incredible illustration work, you know, depicting these monsters in the, this awesome, you know, whimsical style. So let's take a look at this book. All right, so now let's take a look at the inside of this beautiful book of Ken Sugimori. And a lot of it's mostly, it's like I was saying, it's a lot of his comic book work uh, from when he first started. Like these beautiful, and they're beautifully covered. And as you, you can tell, his style hasn't really changed very much since uh, the 80s uh, when he first started uh, doing uh, art. And you, as you can see, still, it's like the first uh, Pokemon game, uh, which you'll see in a bit. Uh, it's in here. It's the same style that translated over. It has like really cool, cool uh, illustration style, and also like a little perverted. Uh, but his style is hasn't changed very much, which is interesting to me. Like seeing over the years, and you can see some of the where's the other stuff here. He has uh, some of the game manuals he did. So and some of the manuals uh, of the games he worked on had like little comics so he he would make like little comics for it here's some of his other manga that he's working on i think this is called athena uh athena something it's 1989 um and then i think this is when he started doing some games uh he did a lemmings cover that's incredible i don't know if many people know that he did the lemmings uh cover for the famicom version and he also did the manga for it as well in japan um, and this is when they started getting into more video games. Jerry B for the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. As you can see, uh, Jerry Boy, sorry. Uh, this is when uh, he still wasn't at Game Freak. He was still kind of like a freelancer. And this is where it gets interesting. This is when you can start seeing him at his best, like creating characters for uh, the games that he was working on. As you can see, he's using just square paper and figuring out like how characters jump, how characters react to certain uh, things. And here, interesting enough, you, you can look over here, it looks like a, a PG. So he was already starting to create that, you know, those iconic characters uh, with his own twist from the original uh, manga. So this is really cool, like how characters uh, show up in games. And creating all these concept artists, and then this is cool stuff. Like he was uh, figuring out how to make round things in uh, like pixels, and figuring out shapes for different uh, characters. So he was already thinking about how to make uh, pixel art of all this stuff, which is incredible. He was also doing game design, which you know now it's a profession to itself. But back then, you were an artist; you would figure out the game design. Uh, so here's Jerry, Jerry Boy uh, manga that came with the Super Cam uh, Famicom version and some more of it. I think it, it has all the, the the manga in here from that uh, from that series and I believe it came on Jump magazine but I'm not sure but I think he did a, he did a, a bunch of uh, short uh, manga is just based off of this guy. Interesting enough, this is when uh, you know they bring in the Pokemon stuff. So this is, I think, from silver or gold. As you can tell, his style has not changed. Like 
this image is still iconic to me. Like, looking at this, I know who this is. Um, and here's uh, Pulse Man, which is an incredible game that uh, not many people know about. Uh, that I wish came to North America. Um, uh, I forgot the name of uh, Something Drill. It's also really good that he designed all the characters. Um, and there, there's the man himself. And as you can see, as you're going in, you can see like all the ga other games he worked on for Sega here, creating the, the characters and how certain characters are going to interact with the environment, creating the pixel art uh, of the character and like the animation cells. Like he's a super talented guy. Like here's a uh, Pulse Man and creating like the different versions of Pulse Man that uh, came out. And this is the one that actually came out. This is when uh, he actually transforms into Pulse Man, which is super awesome. And you can see all the other characters. And here's the other, uh, I forgot the name of the drill something. Let me uh, let me know guys down below. I, I'm blanking out with the name, but he's come came up with all the, like the, uh, the different uh, iconography, like all the help stuff. And also, he helped with the, the storyboards. And this is like the main show. Like, what what we really know him for is the Pokemon stuff. Like, to me, this is what Pokemon is. Uh, his style has just made, in, at least in my head, has like cemented what Pokemon looks like. He's the guy who created, you know, these iconic characters, taking it from the manga and just like making them even more special like to me charizard and, and charmander just without his like personal touch it, i don't think it would be the way it would be right now psyduck uh abracadabra or alakazam um gyarados like his style has made these characters just iconic right so that's pretty much it. Here's all the games that he worked on. So he's worked on every single Pokemon game, as you can see, uh, all the way from, uh, well, it was uh, green and red at the time, and then they made a blue version because of North America, then yellow, then gold, silver, crystal, every single Pokemon he's been, he's, he's worked on. These are actually things I, I saw when I was in the Pokemon Center in Japan. They had uh, these basically prints of a lot of the Pokemon stuff that he did for sale and they were going for a crazy amount of money uh, I think I saw this one uh, for about two thousand dollars and it is ridiculous but if they had a, an incredible Charizard one just of Charizard not with uh, you know one of the new Pokemon's which I don't know the names of but if it was just you know Charizard with a Charmander or something I, I don't know I <laughs> maybe I would have broke down and got it but yeah, this is pretty much uh, what comes in the package. Uh, I think it's it was a great find uh, when I was in Japan. Uh, it was pretty cheap. It was about 20 bucks. So like I said, it, it isn't too bad. But the quality and like look how thick this thing is. Like if you're into his art or just like concept artists, there's so much great things in here that I recommend uh, people get if they can have a chance to grab this thing. So that was a look at Kensuke Mori Works. I really hope you guys like that. Uh, I really like this book just because it just brings a lot of nostalgia back to me from when I was a kid playing Pokemon, you know, opening up the manual and seeing his illustrations of all the different monsters and, you know, making my imagination just go wild by uh, his illustration work. So. You know, it's definitely a great pickup if you're really into the Pokemon series and if you're really into his style. So it's definitely a, a good pickup if you, you see this guy. So I want to thank you guys for, for watching. Let me know down below what you think of Ken Sugimori and his, you know, his incredible illustration style, what you think of his works within the Pokemon series, and what do you think of the Pokemon series and how, you know, they're kind of changing and evolving their, their style based off of, you know, what the the newer kids are, are into right now so again let me know down below uh, hit that like button to let me know if you like this content or not it helps me gauge if this content is good or not for you guys and most importantly please hit that subscribe button it helps me motivate myself to create more and high quality content for you guys on a regular basis so 
I'll see you next time.